Welcome to the Escalation Loot Guide. In this video, we're going to discuss all the locations and what kind of loot they will drop. If you guys enjoyed this video and learned something, make sure to drop a like. Let's aim for 200 likes. If you reach that like goal, I'll post a full quest guide zone. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do. We're trying to reach 50,000 by the end of the year. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask below and I will try to answer to them as quickly as possible. Last video's mythical giveaway winner is shown now, and today we're going through another one, which is a wealthy corrosive night trader. To win this, make sure that you've liked, subscribed, and comment something below. Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to set up your own network for unturned then look no further because i got the best option for you which is pine hosting pine hosting is very easy to learn the navigation is super user friendly and not hard at all to master the servers all have high performance with ddos protection when i started my own network a while ago i had no clue how to do anything but after a few minutes of looking around, I learned the basics shortly. They have locations all around the world, and the pricing is super worth it. They also have a variety of game servers to choose from, including Rust, Ark, and also Minecraft. A game-changing feature is the ability to install plugins and mods just by clicking once. Also, if you have a server with another provider, you don't have to worry, because Pine Hosting will help you move your servers. Make sure to check out the link below and use the code LGG for 30% off, and let's get straight back into the action. First location we're going to go to is TKR Industrial. This place is mainly a military and construction loot area, but it can drop a lot of good items. Some stuff that it can drop is elite packs, ammunition, armor plates, canteens, chemicals, coffee filters, combat clothing, construction clothing, ECS-25, electronic components, fabric, firefighter axe, firefighter clothing, food, generators, glue, grenades, hammer, high caliber ammo, hollow point ammo, jackhammer, landmines, Metal ingots, metal scraps, metal springs, military helmets, mortars, nitroglycerin, pickaxe, pliers, recon backpacks, refined oil, sandbags, tanto, tape, Ulfbert, Uzi, work lamps, and wrench. Obviously, in each location, I'm going to mention the important stuff. Then there's a lot of other random junk that you can find. For example, different type of melees. I will just say melee weapons and so on. Next, we have the Red Grove Airfield. Now, this area is a bandit area and over here you can find the tank. This location has a room that can be opened with a breaching hammer and inside you can find more loot. The items that you can find here are M1911, .308 rounds, 20 gauge shells, Armstrong, backpacks, bandit clothing, bear traps, bedrolls, black books, blowtorches, Bouncing Betties, Canteens, Centauri, Chemicals, Coffee Filters, Duct Tape, Electronic Components, Food, Glue, Government, Hammers, Impact Grenades, Medication, Nitroglycerin, Refined Oil, Throwing Discs, Weebly, and Wrench. Next we have Vernon Farm, which is a very small location, but from here you can get the following items, such as .308 rounds, Campacks, Coffee Filters, Fertilizer, Food, Melee Weapons, Private, Seeds, and Water. Next we have Everett. Everett is another pretty much small town, but over here there's military locations and also civilian and construction. From here you can get 20 gauge shells, ammunition, armor plates, armstrong, backpacks, bandit clothing, black book, bouncing betties, canteens, chemicals, coffee filters, duct tapes, ECS-25, electronic components, food, glue, government, impact grenades, M1911, marksman ammunition, melee weapons, military clothing, Mortar shells, munitions handbook, nitroglycerin, police clothing, recon backpacks, revolver speed loaders, sandbags, Tonto, Ulfbert, and Uzi. Next we have Fletcher Island, which is just a very small island, but the only important thing about this place is that the airdrops from airdrop modules only land here. Building blows to this is very easy, and if people are obviously doing the airdrop modules, then you can easily counter and get yourself some high tier loot. But in terms of loot, you can get chemicals, clothing, fabric, generators, glue, hammers, jackhammers, melee weapons, metal, pickaxes, plastic, pliers, refined oil, tape, and work lamps. Next, we have Fort Martin, which is a military base. From here, you can get elite specs, ammunition, amphibious clothing, armor plates, acids, backpacks, baffle kits, bizy, blowtorch, canteen, carjack, chemicals, detonators, ECS-25, EOD clothing, Falcon Point 50, gas cans, grips, HCOG, heavy barrels, high caliber ammo, hollow point ammo, compacts, landmines, lasers, LTLMs, mechanic clothing, military clothing, military knives, missiles, mortars, munitions handbook, Night Vision, Nitroglycerin, Sandbags, Sights, Steel Wheelies, Tanto, Ulfbert, Uzi, and Wrench. Next, we have Parkwood, which is the main city. From here, there are a lot of different rooms that you can open. One of them, you can get a lot of money, and then the other ones, you can get police items and military items. But for terms of loot, from here, you can get 3D printers, armor plates, backpacks, baffle kits, blowtorch, blunt force 12, breaching hammer, canteens, carjack, centauri, chemicals, circuit boards, clothing, Cobalt, coffee filters, combat clothing, construction clothing, duct tape, ECS-25, electronics, fabric, Falcon 50, filament spools, food, gas cans, generators, glue, grenades, intermediate ammo, jackhammers, knives, M1911, marksman ammo, medication, 
melee weapons, metal, mortar shells, munitions handbook, nitroglycerin, pickaxe, plastic, pliers, police handbook, refined oil, riot clothing, rucksack, steel wheelie, tonto, ulfbert, uzi, weebly, worklight, and wrench. The mega zombie also spawns in Parkwood. Next we're going to Walk-In, which is another town, but from here you can get a lot of civilian items and also construction items, mechanical items, but you cannot get any military loot. From here you can get 308 rounds, amphibious clothing, Armstrong, bedrolls, blunt force 12, canteen, sensare, chemicals, cobalt, coffee filters, duct tape, electronics, fire axe, firefighter clothing, food, glue, government, hunting headbooks, inhalers, M1911, mechanic clothing, plastic spools, pliers, police clothing, private scopes, revolver ammunition, scrap, steel wheelie, and weebly. Next we have Lock Dynamics. Lock Dynamics is a military and construction area. There's also a locked room in here. Inside you can get the safe zone key. And from here you can get Elise Backs, Ammunition, Amphibious Clothing, Armor Plates, Assets, Bises, Bricks, Canteens, Chemicals, Circuit Boards, Coffee Filters, Detonators, Electronics, EOD Clothing, Falcon 50, Generators, Glue, Grips, Hammers, Hollow Point Magazines, Inhalers, Jackhammers, Compacts, Lasers, Melee Weapons, Metal Scrap, Morphine, Mortars, Munitions Handbook, Night Vision, Nightclub Glycerin, Pliers, Recon Backpacks, Refined Oil, Regen Stim, Sights, Tanto, Tape, Ulfbert, Uzi, and Wrench. Next we have Camp Crystal, which is a very small location. And from here you can get Armstrong, Bedrill, Camp Packs, Canteen, Centauri, Chainsaw, Fishing Clothes, Fishing Rods, Food, Government, Hiking Packs, Hunting Handbooks, M1911, Private Scope, Revolver Speed Loader, and Weebly. Next we have Artemis Platform, which is a Tier 2 Dead Zone. To access this, you need biohazard clothing and a gauss mod. From here, you can get 10x scope, airdrop grenades, airdrop module, Ali specs, amphibious clothing, armor plates, assets, baffle kits, BYZ, cryogen 12, CSO 85, detonators, dot sites, ECS 25, MP, EOD clothing, Falcon 50, grenades, HCOG, high caliber ammo, high tech fuse, HMG components, hollow point magazines, intermediate ammo, compacts, landmines, lasers, LMG magazines, LTLM, medication. Missiles, Mortars, Knocked, Night Vision, Precision Barrels, Refined Oil, Riot Clothing, RSS-03, Tanto, and Yuzi. Next we're going to go to Dead Zone Tier 1, the one next to Camp Crystal. For this you just require a Gauss Mask. Over here you can get 10x scopes, airdrop grenades, LE specs, amphibious clothing, armor plates, assets, baffle kit, barbed wire, by Z, breaching hammer, cryogen 12, CSO-85, detonator, Dot site, ECS 25, MP, EOD clothing, Falcon 50, grenades, HCOG, high caliber ammo, high tech fuses, HMG components, hollow point magazines, intermediate ammo, compact, laser, landmines, LMG magazine, LTLM, medication, missiles, mortars, knocked, night vision, precision barrels, refined oil, riot clothing, RSS03, sabot slugs, Tanto, Uzi, and most importantly, the Valkyrie ERG2. Next we're going to go to the other dead zone tier 1, which is next to Vernon Farm. From here you can get 10 scopes, airdrop grenades, LE specs, amphibious clothing, armor plates, assets, baffle kits, by Z, cryogen 12, CSO 85, detonators, dot sites, ECS 25, MP, EOD clothing, Falcon 50, grenades, HCOG, high caliber ammo, high tech fuses, intermediate ammo, compact, lasers, LMG magazines, LTLMs, medication, missiles, mortar shells, nuts, night vision, Precision Barrel, Refined Oil, Riot Clothing, RSS-03, Tonto, and Uzi. And that is it, we went to all the locations. I didn't go over the unmarked locations, there are a few unmarked bunkers, unmarked military areas. From there, it's very basic, you can get military loot. A few gas stations, there's also a bandit area that you can get some really good loot. But yeah, that's it for this video guys, I really hope that you did learn something. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below and I will try to answer them as quickly as possible or you guys can answer each other. I did try to mention every single item, but there are a lot of items in this map, so the most important items. Basically, in this map, to get loot everywhere is good. A lot of, a lot of the items can be found in most locations. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!